We selected ventilator associated pneumonia. Ventilator associated pneumonia is a nosocomial infection that commonly occurs in critically ill patients in intensive care units. Ventilator associated pneumonia is pertinent to the level of healthcare quality and to nurses because it is a secondary illness that critically ill patients acquire and it raises their already heightened risk of mortality. Nurses are on the front line of lowering the risk of ventilator associated pneumonia by giving excellent evidence based practice bedside care and ensuring their patients receive a high level of health care quality. Our PICO question is, among critically ill patients, what is the effect of turning the patients and suctioning before turning along with advanced oral care compared to the normal care standards and reducing the rate of ventilator-associated pneumonia. Our research was completed by using the databases CINAHL, Cochrane, and EBSCO host. The keywords used in the research were ventilator-associated pneumonia, VAP, care of VAP, oral care of VAP, and ICU patients with ventilators. The limiters we used in our search were English-only text, full-text articles, and peer review articles. The evidence we found for our research included two experimental articles and one systematic review article. All of our articles were high quality and were level one. They were all very consistent in their findings, stating that advanced oral care and additional suctioning were beneficial. A good practice recommendation would be when turning the patient every two hours, use suctioning before turning. Every four hours, do advanced oral care, such as deep suctioning, and twice a day brush the patient's teeth and apply chlorhexidine gel to all areas of the oral cavity after the brushing. As shown in one of our experimental articles, advanced oral care, subglottic suctioning, and turning the patient frequently helped reduce the rate of ventilator-associated pneumonia significantly. In the specific experiment, the occurrence of VAP in patients dropped from 8.6% to 4.1% after applying the before-mentioned interventions.